this video, we're going to be using Sterling Intrepid Man and the Blackland Razor Saber Single Edge Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Sterling Intrepid Man, which has a nice scent. Um, oh, man, what a beautiful scent on this. I'm going to put the notes for you right on the screen there. We have um, cinnamon, sandalwood, juniper, orange, um, ginger, vanilla. It just comes together beautifully. And according to the Thirsty Badger website, this particular scent was based on Creed Original Santal. And it is a beautiful scent. Scent strength, medium high. The cost on this, you know, is superb. It is sterling. It is $13.75 for 5.8 ounces or $2.37 an ounce on our cost chart. This is a tallow base soap. We'll show you the ingredients on the screen there. Really good stuff with sterling. You know, you're always getting a good product, a consistent product, and I like it a lot. The consistency, by the way, is it's soft, but not goopy soft. You can, you know, press down a little bit. Um, I would call it sort of almost to firm, but not quite to firm. No problems lathering whatsoever. It's not finicky in the least, and I always get excellent lathers out of sterling every single time. The razor for today is the Blackland Razors Saber, which is a gem style single edge razor. And this runs about $185. It's all stainless steel, 303 stainless steel made in the United States. And I have the uh, two plate, which is 0.9 millimeters blade gap. Blackland rates this is 5.5 out of 10 in, aggressive, in aggression, I should say. And I really enjoy using this razor. So let's just get into it. Less yapping, more shaving. We have about almost 24 hours of growth today. And I will link all the product products <laughs> I'm using below. And there is our lather and our Captain's Choice bowl. And today's brush is the Lancaster Razor Works brush. And Lancaster had a drop Saturday. I hope you all were able to go over the go over there and pick up some things at Lancaster. I certainly did. And so I hope you all were able to, if you were interested, pick up some stuff as well. Andre over there is a great guy and he makes great products. And you see those towels hanging back there. Those are, you know, I love those towels. You know how I feel about those towels. I've given many away as gifts. I own a couple, but uh, I've given many, many more <laughs> away. So anyway, there was a big drop and uh, he had a lot of stuff in there like bowls and brush soaking things and many, many towels and just all sorts of different things. He he really does a lot of different things over there at Lancaster. Makes great looking brushes as well. Can't wait to get my hands on one of those. All right. Well, I already have one right here, but this is an old one. Um, I do enjoy using it. This one has a cashmere synthetic knot in it, which is awesome. And I enjoy using this one a lot. Okay, enough with the lathering. Let's set that down there and get down to business with our Sabre. Let's have a little conversation today with the Sabre, which is a gem style single edge razor. And the blades, by the way, if you're interested in where I get them, they're linked below too. They're the gem PTFE coated blades. And ah, oh yes, love the way that feels. Nice and smooth. There's some good heft to this razor as it is stainless sort of built like a tank. And the next time I use it, I'll show you again how it goes together and all that sort of thing, if you're interested. But today, we're just gonna get right into it. I had a busy day in front of me, so don't wanna spend a lot of extra time today here. Oh man, that feels nice, super smooth. I think I have about four or five shaves on this particular blade. The gem blades, you get more mileage out of than your regular DE blade, or at least I do. I'll just keep using it until it doesn't feel um, super sharp and keen. And that's usually at least five shaves. Um, and most of the time, a little more. And that can vary from user to user, depending on your the type of beard you have and so forth. But I really enjoy using gem style razors. Some people don't. Um, the thickness and rigidity of the blades, some people just don't care for. They really prefer the wafer thin DE blades and that's entirely okay if you don't dig it, but I do. I really enjoy 
this razor. It is probably in terms of, uh, art, um, not art, but in terms of gem style razor, it's my favorite razor. And I know there's a lot of great vintage gem style razors, but that, this one for me, it just does it. I don't know. It's just something about it. It's smooth. That blade is in there very tight. Um, it just feels good in the hand. To me, it's fantastic. And I think I saw, um, or in fact, I know I saw John Shaves 101 using this just the other day. And I had this lined up as well. Man, nice razor here. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, this week, or more specifically, this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, on Real Talk, on Instagram, Nate, Low Sense Calator himself, and uh, Mel will be joining us from BBS Live, and that'll be, just be a fun show. It'll probably go a little longer than usual because, you know, with Nate and Mel, uh, it'll be hard to keep it to an hour, but we look to have fun with those guys. We like to catch up with Nate and Mel every few months or so and just have fun. It's fun just to do a sort of flippant show where you just have fun and you know, we'll definitely be talking about shaving because any show that I'm part of, there's always going to be some shaving talk, you know. Um, but we look to have a good time, and I hope you'll join us there for a good time as well. Man, this soap smells great, by the way. Sterling always lathers beautifully for me. And I have heard people before say that they don't find Sterling to be slick enough, and I would say to you, if that is the case for you, you need to find a way to work more hydration into it because when you do, it will be slick. Not many people have said that, but a few. And a few have also said they struggled with it and, they, and then they watched my lather tutorial, which I'll link below. I always have those linked below. And uh, as soon as they lathered that way, they're like, oh man, it is slick. And I'm like, yes, really folks, hydration is the key to slickness if you can get Hydration in your lather, without it being bubbly and airy, it's going to be very, very slick. And almost every soap on the market today that is reputable, almost every soap, is going to be slick if you if you lather it in a way that gets hydration in it. If you've heard of the soap, and if people like the soap, and it's reputable, it will be slick. So if you have a soap that's not slick for some reason and it's reputable, chances are you need to work on getting the best out of it lather-wise. And you might have to change your methods a little bit. I typically don't like to change my methods. I use the same technique all the time and it works for 98% of the soaps on the market. And for the soaps that sort of fall out of that, um, 97% I just don't use. <laughs> But generally speaking, if you can get hydration in the soap and make sure it's not super airy or bubbly, it will be slick. And I can tell you right now, there is plenty of slickness here today. That saber is just gliding effortlessly. And really when it comes down to it, as I keep saying, often, early and often, slickness is really the key. You get slickness in that lather, or excuse me, <laughs> hydration is the key to slickness is what I meant to say. If you get hydration in that lather, it will be slick. And look at that. that, that thing is just gliding. There's no drag whatsoever there. Even though you don't see a lot of visible lather, just cruising, cruising along. And boy, I love this razor, it's just fantastic. Excellent shave today and I love the scent of this soap too. I've slept on it for a long time. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess I didn't know. I think I had a sample at one point and then I finally got around to going and purchasing the full puck. And it's taken me a long time to get around to using it. And man, it's a beautiful scent. But most of the Creed scents are, are quite good, you know. So Creed doesn't put out very many scents that aren't well done. But they put a lot of market research and so forth into the products they bring to market. And so usually when you have some inspired scent that's based on a Creed fragrance, it's gonna be pretty good. 
You may not love them all, but I find that I've um, enjoyed most of them. The one that I didn't really enjoy that much uh, is Ramblin' Man. I'm not, I can't recall what, what uh, scent that was. It was a Creed scent, but I wasn't crazy about that one. But most I have enjoyed, and man, plenty of slickness on this soap today. Very, very nice indeed. No problems whatsoever. You can see how cleanly that rinses. Again, rinsing, if you're having problems and you're having to spend a lot of time rinsing, or if it's not rinsing clean, it probably means you don't have enough hydration in your lather. Work that hydration in your lather. I can't emphasize that enough, and I, I've learned that from experience. If you get a good hydrated lather, everything just works better. Now that said, you can get away with a lather that isn't super hydrated, especially if you're using DEs. But when you go to straight razor shaving, it's a little more important because it takes more time per pass. What I found was when I didn't have a super hydrated lather, one side of my face would start to dry out by the time I got to it. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right. Very nice. Very nice shave today with the saber. Saber, excuse me. I really love these black one razors. Just fantastic. And again, this is my this is my favorite gem style razor. Absolutely love it. All right, that was excellent. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. Now, all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our alum, no stinging there. So that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Magic, because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today, the Sterling Intrepid Man. Beautiful scent. Great scent strength, great price. I mean, I can't say enough good things about Sterling. Just terrific brand, and this soap is terrific. Our Blackland Razors uh, Saber Gem Style Razor was terrific as well. Just such a nice Gem Style Razor. Absolutely loved it. Of course, we used our daily driving Captain Choice Bowl. Our Lancaster Razor Works brush. And we're gonna close it out today with Sterling Intrepid Man Splash. And this one has menthol. You can get it with or without menthol, which I really like. I always love these artisans who provide options. You can sort of customize your experience. Oh, man. Wow. That smells great. <laughs> Woo. Man, oh, man. That's just really, really pleasant. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.